Welcome back as we look at uh, what's making headlines in the papers today and uh, Mushmua Bitizelaki, nominated senator and uh, Jubilee Party nominee for the Great North Parliamentary seat. Uh, Mushmua Chris uh, Wamalwa, member of parliament for Kiminini, uh, going to defend his seat on, on a Ford Kenya NASA coalition ticket and of course Ray Oche, a governance expert. Uh, earlier on we were looking at the issues around SGR and road transport in Kenya vis-a-vis uh, -vis issues of corruption that are going to be quite pertinent as we head towards the campaign proper uh, season. This star, which we had not looked at at the beginning, has just landed on our desk and the story making headlines on the star. Kalenjin tell Uhuru to defend Ruto from losers. So even as uh, uh, the president declares and exudes confidence ahead of uh, August 8th. Uh, apparently there is going to be a meeting in Kericho on Saturday called the Social Declaration where leaders uh, who are angry uh, want Uhuru to come out clearly and publicly and defend his deputy uh, President William Ruto uh, against what they are calling uh, attacks from losers in central Kenya who accuse Ruto of rigging them out. Which is <laughs> it is very interesting. You know, um, every politician will be angry depending on how you go through this process of nominations. And I think for those who felt strongly, I went through a process and uh, it was not uh, the right process. Decided first to use the, the channels that were put in. So you go through your tribunal of the party. If you are not... Uh, uh, satisfied you move on to the political parties tribunal and even to court and I think those have been the best candidates because in the end the court has, has determined whether indeed looking at the process looking at what you got you deserve to have the ticket or something I think that, that those are the best candidates I would say now for the ones uh, I mean even if you would be rigged out by the deputy president I don't think he will come to Central and influence and tell now people that day that now remove this one and uh, bring this one. I think uh, also we've taken it so far until now even Kenyans and one of the things that uh, even us politicians we are forgetting. For example, if uh, Honorable Chris is the candidate of Ford Kenya and then you, a, a, a member of Ford Kenya or someone decides he was rigged out or I was rigged out and therefore decides I will go independent then comes and stands with Chris and maybe you got 50 votes or 60 votes or 100 votes and now you're saying so and so rigged me out I got 60 and he got 300 and you are rigged and, and you expect now those who really voted for Chris on the day of 8 what they will want now to teach you a lesson that you said so and so rigged you now we want to show you he never rigged you we are the ones who decided you do not des you do, you do, you we do not, not want you to leave or we do not des we, you do not deserve to serve us and, and that is one thing now I want to plead with all of us I think time has come in Kenya the electorate is also very wise they decide what they want they decide this is how we will want there are many issues they have realized if we are tired with you so five years we will not deal with you but the day will come we will show you indeed we were not happy with the things you have been doing so for me when you find the independent ones very angry now for example for me and I don't want to say it is wrong to go independent all I'm saying if I want to go as an independent candidate I don't need to even waste my time to go through a party then go independent I just have to go I believe in the people go like get up and become an independent candidate yeah. from the word go or like uh, the, uh, our young guy in Musimba That's in, in Makweni yes uh, he, he, he won in, as an independent he has realized let me just move on as an independent that's a guy you give kudos that's a person you respect but for these ones and then they come and then they say so and so rigged me the deputy president rigged me the former prime minister rigged me out I think time has come Kenyans are also looking mm -hmm. Kenyans but for those who lost completely and there was an issue you will know on the 8th. Chris, the social declaration as the star says, leaders to meet in Kericho on Saturday and they want President Uhuru Kenyatta to come out publicly and defend his deputy over attacks from losers in central Kenya who are accusing Ruto of bringing them out. 
I really sympathize with the Deputy President Ruto. And this was on record. He said himself, he's going to Jubilee House to take charge of these nominations. He said it. And whatever Tuju was doing was working under duress. So all this mess, I sit in Parliament and I can tell you the Jubilee legislators, they are very, very bitter with the Deputy President. Deputy President Ruto is focusing on 2022. It's not much to do with the 2017. Anybody who has not been throwing the line, Ruto line, he was kicked out. Let's start with Kabogo. Kabogo was among the first people to challenge the deputy president 2022. It's not going to be a yes thing. Where is Kabogo today? He's out. Come to Nairobi. When Peter cannot declare with the government of Nairobi, we had a lot of mamas, particularly from the DP's uh, backyard. He was not sleeping. Because they've been in this arrangement, and he's been saying 2022 is going to be Ruto's time. So he had to move in. The likes of minor commander who are propagating, advancing for, for, for Peter Kennedy, who are they now? They are home. So these guys are saying, oh, Deep William Ruto was there to fix anybody. And not just in central Kenya. It was even all over the talk of cost. Come to even Rift Valley, his backyard. Give, for example, there was an issue. It's on the ground that maybe Buzeki was the DP's uh, candidate. It's in the public domain. So this is a time DP is having all sorts of problems. And so it confirms. Perception. Absolutely. And it confirms the, the number of, indi of independent candidates compared to Jubilee and NASA. Jubilee are very many. They are the one, in fact, they've come up with an association being headed by, uh, by Kabogo, deputized by uh, Buzeki. And my friend uh, Ndungu Gidinja of Nyeri, all the Nyerians went and they are breathing fire and they are just saying after eight, they are going to know their true colors. So the deputy, I really sympathize with him. And that's why they are coming in asking, can the president come and defend? And we are told even uh, people are saying the president didn't bother and the deputy took charge and uh, the president's supporters were left out. Last time we were here with, uh, with Kabanda or Kabanda. And the, the MP for Mukraini, and he said it clearly that the tall trees were all put aside, they were cut into size. But the short trees who are just coming up, which may be uh, Kuluak under duress, they are allowed to germinate or to move on. And they blame this to the deputy president. Isn't it a good thing that the deputy president took charge and those the right traits of a good leader? If you took charge and you added value, you know, uh, to streamline, a pro to, to streamline uh, you provided a framework and you streamlined objectivity, that's it. But in this case they are crying, he took charge, and those who are not his supporters in 2022 were cut off. So that's why they are crying. Senator it's Elijah. a big, big problem in Jubilee. Senator and I Elijah. can tell you right now, even in Parliament, the other day, I think there was something, I don't know what was on the floor, even when the leader of majority said this, in the corridors, they were saying, no? Let the DP be the one to go to the floor to vote. We are not voting. People are very annoyed. They are very mad with William Ruto. So I sympathize with him. Ray, what is really yeah. simmering here? Uh, Charles, my colleague may be privy of uh, some internal information that uh, <laughs> I may not have. <laughs> uh, let me say it as a fact. Like, but, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah they they oh not so much. Uh, they, don't know. They, all that. They, uh, they sit together. They, 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 sit together, yeah. they have Absolutely. lunch share, together. Yeah, yeah which, which I may not have a privilege of. Uh, but, but what is in the public domain, uh, Charles, is clear in terms of we've seen uh, candidates and candidates of repute. Uh, uh, in the name of Peter, the personality of Peter Kenneth, we seen Kabogo coming out clearly, and, and, and they've been saying about uh, Charles how the DP uh, is wing trimmed them to size. So that's the information that we have. And uh, moving forward, that can be true. It can be uh, political gimmicks. Could be a no, perception. Yeah, it can be a perception. But now moving forward, I, I think coming to this, Charles. Uh, I've been on this studio uh, really championing for independent candidates and I've said that both parties must have a soft strategy towards um, bringing independent candidates on board because we are talking about game of numbers. We've had 70% plus one, we've got 10 million strong. What makes this 10 million and 70 plus one child is that one voter. And it's clear that 
the some of the independent candidates. So you're saying do everything to get yeah. the extra vote. Yeah. Even if it means lying on your ideologies to one mm. end. Uh, so uh, no, 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 not not super lying. Yeah, because but, but how yeah. do you explain Ray? Yeah. Mm. Chance of Diambo being a member of yeah. Jubilee Party yeah. today. Yeah. Then two days after nomination, yeah. he is independent. Actually, that, that's now where I'm coming to. Mm. In terms of remember, uh, the end will justify the means. Charles, come August. Yeah. We must have a winner between Uru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga. And, and your, votes, others. your votes will not be who was independent. Your votes will be 6 million or 10 million Kenyans elected you as a president. Mm -hmm. So that's where we are going to go to. So in terms of, I've had that strategy. But now, what I'm finding Charles, the independent candidates, doing here makes me again question and even, uh, even wave my support towards what I was thinking there, because I, I, I think these are now disparate tactics, and this is where I agree with uh, Senator Lachi. Charles, if I had the numbers, and you know, across the political value chain, we have got politicians who are genuinely rigged out. We have those that clearly were beaten hands down. So what I'm saying is that, Charles, if I'm an independent candidate today, and I know I was rigged, and you know the debate of what we saw in the primary, some were saying the registers that were used were some were uh, 2013, some were the left registers. So there was a there were no registers. Some there were no registers, were party registers. So what I'm saying, Charles, is if I know I'm an independent candidate, I went independent because I was genuinely rigged, then I know I have the numbers. Mm. Then, then why, why, why do I want to hoodwink and blackmail and uh, the DP yes. and, and yes. cry foul? Yes. No, 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 Mushima Charles, just listen. Because if you have the numbers, then why do you want to put all these declarations? Mm. Why don't you go to the ballot? Because I had, but the, the alliance that they did was a brilliant idea. They were just telling this uh, group, listen, we've got the numbers. You have to listen to us. At the presidential level, we can deliver it for you. But in terms of our support base, we are vying. But I think this one, Charles, uh, outrightly, uh, we don't need to be uh, scant with facts. This is blackmailing. And I think if you're an independent candidate worth your salt and you've got the numbers, don't waste your time. Mm. Because then this is, uh, this is not right. Fair enough. Another issue on the start before we look at the big day yesterday, IEBC clears hundreds of candidates for the August elections, but they are mammon candidates with integrity issues. You remember just last week, um, uh, Ezra Chiloba, uh, the IEBC uh, CEO, issued a decree that should you be having any issues of integrity, they will not clear you unless otherwise. Mm -hmm. We've not had anybody stopped from proceeding yeah. on integrity issues. Mm -hmm. Does it mean that was just talk, Chris? Yeah, I, I think uh, this has to do with the also the implementation part of it. The law is very clear. You are innocent until uh, proven guilty and you must be given an opportunity to have exhausted all the appeal mechanisms. So there's no way you can bar a candidate based on rumor mongering. Unless that evidence is there, it's only the courts which can do that. And that particular candidate ha must have exhausted all the appeal mechanisms. So whatever Chiloba is saying, whatever the busy bodies are saying, it's wrong. I made it very clear on the floor of the House when we were passing the regulations, the IBC regulations, which help them to operationalize uh, the, the, the Elections Act and, other, and the IBC Act. And in those regulations, there was nothing anywhere that these bodies will come together to say we are coming up to bar some candidates. No. So to me, my advice to these candidates, they should not be worried of anything. They should go ahead. It's only the court. Unless you've been convicted and you've exhausted the mechanisms of appeal is when you can be bad. Now that you played a, a pivotal role in um, drafting or even pushing for passage the electoral laws, mm. where is the convergence point between the electoral laws currently as they are mm -hmm. and chapter 6 of the constitution on leadership and integrity? Now on chapter 6, uh, you know the body that is, uh, that is there to, 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 to operationalize this is the ESCC, the Ethics and Corruption Commission. And how they operationalize this, if you're going to present your papers, you're just given a form where you just need to fill that form and they'll be able to investigate, to scrutinize whatever you're saying. Is it going to be true or not true? So that is the only thing they are putting in place. But the issue of saying that uh, 
ethics unless ESCC has barred you it's when the the IBC will follow because it's not the responsibility of IBC to buy your integrity ESCC is there but still someone can challenge the ESCC verdict through the court okay. yeah uh, Senator Ilachi I think first of all uh, as Mwishimua uh, says yes uh, IBC have no powers to, to, to stop anyone until you're barred by court but also I want to uh, plead with IBC don't derail yourself because the moment you get into these legal processes everyone will go to court so you have to now look for lawyers to go and defend you up and down I think you will derail your uh, preparations you will derail what is going to happen within uh, w uh, the most important institution you are holding than the court so if anyone feels uh, uh, that uh, so and so is not fit let them go to court and the courts will decide for that or and anyway the, court. the courts also uh, in one of their rulings say that uh, you cannot bar anyone from a political seat because you are infringing on their democratic rights mm. for voting uh, or for political rights so for me what I'll want to see if the institutions that uh, ESCC and uh, the DPP have cleared someone then uh, even what are you taking to court because it is the DPP to uh, prosecute and uh, whatever before you uh, take your file to court so yes. and I want to give an example of Anne Anne has to buy I mean it is up to the courts and even and that does not actually mean I think there's a, a case in court now, with now you see, that and so uh, uh, which is now you we now we've opened up now everyone will run there to get now orders to come it, uh, okay. it's not helping us Chris. at all yeah I think it, if, if the matter is still in court like for, is, for example the Anne's case I don't think Anne can be even be bad because the court has not uh, pronounced itself on that and unless she has exhausted all the appeal mechanisms yeah. there's no way somebody can violate her rights actually letting the court Ezra Chiloba he said unless unless you bring something that indicates yeah. that you have appealed yeah. your case is exactly. going on or yeah. you have been exonerated and remember the matter yes. is still in court yes. but before that maybe we also need to a president has been set in this country last time in 2013 was the president the deputy they had cases uh, under ICC and these are cases against humanity some of the of the high level cases and they were allowed to buy so people are saying what threshold are you putting? And yet a president had been set. There was the president and the deputy who are facing uh, cases against humanities at the, at, the, at the Hague. And yet they were allowed to, to buy. So that, that threshold that was set, Kenyans are looking at it that they must be allowed to go. Because a quick one, Ray. Yeah, yeah. We Charles, we expunged chapter 6 and I think we, <laughs> we deleted it. And uh, we have to have a conversation of how we can bring uh, chapter 6 because even the actors who are to operationalize the way Mishimewa said, ESCC, the Kaparo Commission, you realize that these institutions do not have teeth. Look at uh, Wabukala's commission in terms of its capacity, whether it's central, it decentralized, but its decentralization is so thin that it just looks like a centralized unit. In terms of even personnel, to even operationalize the same is going to be a challenge. So in terms of, uh, in terms of where we are going, Charles, uh, this conversation has to be really looked at. So, uh, but, but I agree with Moshmo on this. In terms of uh, the witch hunt, IBC too little, too late. And sometimes I think in terms of, in t instead of drawing a clear line of sight, I don't know why IBC is drawing funny diagrams. Because <laughs> the, the, their work should be very clear. Should take off, yeah, the off the mm -hmm. them, And what the image that they are giving unto us is sometimes a little bit very wide. Thank you very much. <laughs> we finish on a high. <laughs> Yesterday was a big day for Uhuru Kenyatta and uh, the Jubilee Party. As you can see, the front page of the Daily Nation of the Standard. Uh, the day, uh, actually, yesterday in the morning, I had a panel here. And uh, uh, Mashimua Jogu Barua was saying, it's going to be a real tsunami. Chris, was this a real tsunami compared to what you had on Sunday? This is not a tsunami. Maybe a tsunami in a teacup. If you do a comparative analysis with what ha what's happened actually for NASA, the difference is like day and night. Everywhere we I was there at KICC, you saw how KICC was. Then from there, we went to Jagaranda. So if Njogu Barua say this, then he's speaking from Kenyaga. He doesn't know what happened. No, 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 he was well, here the, the issue is uh, we are waiting for the Kenyans uh, to decide. But I do know very well that uh, as from on other side, we are 10 million strong. And the fact that I'm going as for the court ruling, the announcement of the presidential result at the constituency, if they are going to be verified up here, they should not be altered 
That's where the rigging takes place. Mm-hmm. So as NASA, we are very firm on this. We've told our supporters we are going to have a parallel uh, tiling center to do a comparison. So there's no way we're going to allow any issues coming in. And I want to thank the president for his message uh, of saying that uh, uh, for peace, uh, peace and unity. Uh-huh. I don't know why you didn't pick the headline like this mm-hmm. when uh, when uh, Raila Molo Dinka was IBC. He said the same. He said we are going to be peaceful. We would be united, but nation here, they've given a headline here, but uh, with our presidential candidate, who also actually pronounced the same, ahead of uh, his excellency the president, it was not anywhere. You have said, it on, na- you have said it on national uh, TV. Uh, absolutely. It <laughs> okay. is to confirm that as NASA, we also stand for peace, we also stand for unity, just the same way uh, his, our incoming president had, uh, had actually said the time he presented this. This is, how did you feel yesterday? Well, I thank God. I thank God that first of all, it was on a Monday. Mm-hmm. People were at work and they were able to give their time and come. So I want to thank all uh, Jubilee uh, citizens who were out there on a Monday, decided to leave their businesses to come. That is one. But also to say that um, I think going forward, and, uh, and, and that is why everyone is talking about, let us agree to have a uh, a campaign that deals with issues, a campaign that, that, that does not derail, drag your name, drag your personalities in this. And we go out there and just tell Kenyans, this is what I believe in. And not just the president, I think all of us. If this is the light he goes out there and tells yes, people, don't I, vote for Charles because he's corrupt. Is that bad? Uh, and I can, you can prove, you prove that. Yes, you prove. And I will not prove that Charles is corrupt. I will just say, Charles has done one, two, three. When I look at them, they are shoddy jobs, uh, they have done this, the contractors did not do uh, just so that's analyze. Not bad. That's not bad. Mm-hmm. Because uh, both sides will just have to do that. And, and I know at one point we will always converge and pull in uh, names and do anything. That's politics. But the most important thing, I think what the President and the also the former Prime Minister should uh, agree on is that it is Kenya. Whoever will win is a Kenyan. Mm-hmm. And uh, as we move forward also, the, the other thing we must ask ourselves, as they say 10 million strong, we say 45 million because Kenyans are all. For me, it is uh, how you analyze now your 10 million, how I will analyze my 45 million and prove to Kenyans we can win this thing 70 plus I 1, sure. which we will. Uh, but, uh, I I money. Money. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I want to tell Chris before he cuts me short <laughs> that uh, let us also not... Uh, sensationalize all these things both sides I, I, I need to know one thing it's just on you 10 million votes or 10 million people it is very wrong uh, Charles no no just no, no, tell me. Kenya. 10 no, million no, votes of course you're talking about the votes I mean, 45, 45 million votes or 45 votes. million people you have, well, million you have, you have never said million. it's votes no it's votes it's when he's saying on no 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 it's 10 million strong so and you say 45 million strong which is wrong because we know on the 8th of August of 19 million registered voters they will come out we don't know whether it is 10 we don't know whether there will be voter apathy we so as politicians we have 45 million strong Kenyans no. we know on 8th of August they will come out and we know 45 million Kenyans will come out no 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 I'm out. saying as a From nation where? we are 45 million ah okay <laughs> they, are, they have 10 million as a nation votes. we are 45 we don't know whether it's votes. votes until they change their banner and it will show me there Ray uh, as we wind up Charles one this, this was a, a normal day for uh-huh. President Uru Kenyan it was uh-huh. a normal day for Ilo Day these things were provisional but I like the great start I liked what the President said he said let's go agenda let's not attack each other he talked about peace i also loved what Raila Odinga said last which which he said that if he wins fairly uh, if the elections are fair he will concede defeat i think these are very good notes that and, and the president uh, jubilee said as much yesterday yeah 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 and was, that's what i'm saying it's a great start uh-huh. for kenya we will the accept the outcome of august vote yes. says. Oh. i think those are the two things that should even run the headlines yeah. the two main uh, yeah. players Absolutely. are accepting and saying that if this is fair it brings pressure on the IBC. But again, Charles, these two divides have got equal measure of thugs mm-hmm. on both sides. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we, we know. We know. Tell us about this quickly. In both ways. Both in terms of accusation, some of the value system, some of the things they have done in public. We know they are in both sides. Yes. But that's what I'm saying. That. Now the two principles, both sides, Jubilee, Uru Kenyan and Raila Dinga, they have to walk the talk. 
and they, and they have to walk the talk and make sure that they control their people because the president may say that what Dwell and what Moses Kuria will do is different Raila may say that what his team, the likes of Chris or uh, you are not in that I'm not in that category <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, thank <laughs> you very much so they have to walk you. the talk yes, uh, let's walk the talk and let them deliver what they are Chris, 30 seconds my, my, my last comment is uh, we, we want to buy it from uh, the executives of the president and uh, what uh, our flag bearer Honda Brail Odinga said that as we go out there to to campaign, please let's maintain peace. But one critical thing that uh, Raila Molodinga said, we have security agencies like the Kafaro institutions and all that. Yes, that they sh right they should not be able to go there. They should be objective. They should not be biased. And lastly, I want to thank the great people of Kimini, and I request you to vote for me again <laughs> to, to, to go and take Kimini to greater heights of peace. I think I want us to go out there. Let us not drag our institutions of insecurity. You still need the security team to work for you, NASA. You still need everyone to work for you. What you need to do is we tell our bases that these institutions are there to safeguard us as we move on. We don't need to drag IEBC anymore in the process. We need to look at them as our referee and respect whatever outcome comes out. For me in Dagoretti North, I just want to say we are there to transform, to walk a journey together as one people. Thank you very much Senator Bitre Zalachi, nominee for Jubilee Dagoretti North Parliamentary Six. Uh, Mwishmoa Chris uh, Omalo, member of parliament for Kiminini and also a, uh, a candidate for the same seat again. And uh, as always a pleasure, Roy Chen, having you on the set. My name is Charles Odiambo. Just That's just about all that we had for you this morning. The stakes are with you, the voter, to exercise the provision that the constitution gives you. Choose wisely. Listen to everybody. Make a wise decision. See you around.